sure I got Bluetooth on. Yep. Oh. Finally back on my bike, man. It's been a been a full fucking week. First time riding my bike in a full fucking week, man. Oh boy. What is up, YouTube family? How y'all doing, man? This is your boy, Sakata, out here. Finally coming at you guys with another motor vlog, man. This is the first vlog I'm officially recording since getting out of surgery for uh, having my appendix removed. So, if I sound a little strange or seem a little winded, I'm sorry, but it's because um, I still kind of feeling it from my surgery my throat is still very fucking sore excuse me right now i ran up to my wife's job because uh my discharge papers and stuff are in the back seat of the car right so i'm going up there to get those because i need to go see my doctor again today because i've been experiencing some acid reflux man and let me tell you guys if you've never experienced acid reflux man that shit hurts dude it fucking hurts like a motherfucker like man whenever it's down there every time I eat something put it this way have you ever been so pissed off to the point where you just feel like you want to hit the next person you see that's how that shit feels man whenever I eat something that's just how frustrated and pissed the fuck off I get I feel like I, I want to just knock the shit out of the next fucking person that I see oh my god man because what happens is <laughs> Uh, the, well, let me give y'all a little bit of education here. <laughs> so apparently, what causes acid, causes acid reflux is when um when you uh, eat something, when food or anything else goes through your esophagus, and you know how you have you have the um I don't know what the fuck it's called, but you know how you have the opening in your neck that opens and closes to let food and water in and all that stuff that separates your throat from your di diagram or diaphragm, how the fuck it's pronounced. Yeah, so what happens, acid reflux is when that shit doesn't close right away or doesn't close at all. So what happens is the acids from your stomach end up coming back up your damn throat and that shit burns like a motherfucker, dude. Oh my God. Put it this way, man. When, when that shit happens, not only do I get so fucking angry because, like I said, it only happens when I eat, man. So it's making it very hard for me to fucking eat something right now. And because of that, I've been damn near fasting through my days. But when I actually do go eat, it's like, damn, I can't even have a peaceful fucking meal. But this is what it feels like. It's like, for me, it's like a burning and cutting at the same time because my throat is so fucking sensitive from it so it's like if I eat anything that's not 100% smooth like let's say uh some fucking mashed potatoes or something but I, I, I still feel it with mashed potatoes as well just FYI but I'm just giving you guys an example of, of smooth food so it's like as the food goes down it's like it's scratching or rather cutting the inside of my throat and then comes the burning pain right afterwards so it makes it feel even worse and man even when i'm laying down on my side or my damn back i can't lay on my damn stomach because i got four fucking holes in it right now so yeah, they told me to give at least four weeks to let those heal and stuff from the surgery so i'm gonna do that let those heal but uh the most painful shit ever. I've never experienced a greater pain. I will not lie to you guys, man. When that, when that shit happens, I'd, I'd be on the verge of shedding, shedding some goddamn tears. I won't even lie. Be about to have some fucking tears roll down my damn face. But, me, I'm, I'm, a, big, I'm a big tough guy, you know, so I hold it back. 
I haven't had any tears yet. <laughs> I tend to keep it that way. So I just took my two uh, medications as well. They gave me some antibiotics as well as some uh, painkillers. Uh, now, I probably shouldn't even ride my motorcycle because uh, supposedly one of them's a narcotic. So when I take it, it's supposed to make me drowsy. But, dude, I've been taking that sh shit for, um, for about four days now, and not one time have I taken the medication and felt drowsy. So I'm not worried about it, but I'm just letting you guys know. I got my medications and stuff in my book bag with me because when I get over there to uh, see the doctor, I have to get my discharge papers and stuff. I'm gonna show them everything I've been taking. I've been taking some Alka-Seltzer waters, or pills, or what the fuck them shit's called? The ones, you know the Alka-Seltzer's? You put them into the water with little tablets and let them wait for them to dissolve. Yeah, I've been taking those for the acid reflux, but at the same time, I've been taking my other two medications as well. So, uh, with those, the alpha cells, I've been taking those damn near three, at least two to three times a day, man. You're not supposed to consume more than eight tablets in any 24 hour period, and they come, each package is um, two tablets. So, you're not supposed to take more than four doses of alpha cells in a 24 hour period. So, I haven't exceeded that. I'm being very cautious not to. But man, every damn night, dude, in the middle of the fucking night, I gotta wake my ass up, go to the kitchen, try to get me some ice or some fucking water. And at first the ice was helping, but now even the fucking ice, goddamn it, hurts, man. So it's like, fuck, dude. The hell am I supposed to do? I don't know, man. But that's that's why I'm going to see the damn doctor. Get this shit taken care of. I'm going to conclude this vlog here, you guys. Um, if y'all enjoyed the video, leave me a like down below. Subscribe to my channel now, everyone, one of my beautiful subscribers. And in the meantime, this is me and boy, Psychotic Heart, man. And as usual, peace out, motherfuckers. Girl! <laughs> I was at least able to do that right. <laughs> oh, my God. Just...